and then uh, uh, Kabong mm. sneaked from mm. the police canteen. He went to the telephone booth, which was uh, outside the police canteen, and rang the the, the bosses. Mm. Come and listen it for yourself, mm. and that is why I was sacked. Uh, so, Mr. Watenge, yeah. what wana kujua na uh, YouTube, of course your YouTube channel, na pia interview yako na Dr. Kingori, mm-hmm. but nikuwa nataka kukuliza maswali katha haraka haraka. Uh, number one, swali ni uliacha kuwa polisi lini? January 93. 93? Yeah. Uh, what happened? Uli retire? Uli... Nili fanyika? What happened? Mm. My father was a, a senior police officer retired. Yeah. And... Uh, The, I, I think I want to tell how the whole incident yeah. holistically. Yeah. Uh, there was smaller clashes. Yeah. And at the same time there was burnt forest clashes. Mm. And at the same time there was uh, in Kitale there were clashes, tribal mm. clashes. Yeah. And uh, we were the province mm. and uh, we we were you know the provincial security intelligence officer is like a president. Mm. And uh, we have uh, his ministers, if mm. I can say so. Mm. So we have people, we have a desk officer, a mm. minister is called a desk officer. We have a desk officer who deals with criminal intelligence. Mm. There is one who deals with the trade unions. There is one who deals with the ABCD. Mm. So uh, there is one who deals with intertribal clashes. Yeah. So as, as we were handling that, mm. uh, There was a lot of, and I've learned a lot about when I was in work, Yeah, that uh, a lot of things would happen and very many people would wa- not want it to be associated with them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we used to talk, mm. especially before the boss came for the morning briefings. Mm. We would uh, meet and then discuss things. And I would ask my colleagues, mm. why don't they write or wh- why don't they tell the boss? They say, Mm. the report will come and implicate me. Mm. So one day I went and saw the deputy provincial boss mm. who was called Mr. Kimayo. Mm. Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, he was called Rafael mm. Kimayo Kaino. Mm. I went to his office and said, I want us to discuss one-on-one mm. about uh, the work. He said, okay, we sat there for a long time. Mm. I told him what was happening in Molo. Mm. Uh, holistically, Rift Valley, what was happening. Mm. Uh, I remember also telling him that uh, it was risky for the government to register mm. sub- Sebeis mm. from Uganda as subouts from Kenya mm. and give them ID. Short yeah. term, we are going to get um, in the short term, we are going to get um, benefits. A canoe will get votes. Mm. Mm. But these are people who are used to guns and whatever mm. and there will be a spike in bank robberies. Mm. So I said the government should look into that. Mm. Uh, that is what, there are several things, but uh, that is one of them. Mm. Then he sat down. Uh, okay, after listening, I know he he rang the headquarters. They made consultations, mm. and then he called me and told me, "Can you write a detailed report on that?" Mm. I went down mm. with my team. Yeah, and I can say that uh, I am the one who contributed least mm. in the information that was there. Mm. My colleagues had uh, a lot of information. Mm. Actually, even drafting and everything, we did it jointly mm. as a group, but on one condition. Mm. Each one of them said, uh, I don't want to be associated with this report mm. because it will come back to haunt me. Mm. But uh, me, I was not worried mm. because the boss who told me to to write a report mm. he was a personal friend of my father mm. and whenever we used to meet or even when people were around he used to say kijana ya rafiki yangu kijana ya rafiki yangu mm. so when we sat down i knew that in case of any problem or anything mm. he was to cover me that is plus those who have seen me mm. see, uh, you know I only fear telling the lies mm. or even exaggerating but if it is telling the truth i'd mm. rather die. Mm. So we sat I sat down with my colleagues. We were six or seven. Mm. We sat down, everything was and I played the least role. Mm. 
Actually, mine was uh, to sit there. They discussed, drafted it, and I was given the draft. I took it to the typing pool where it was typed, but mm. nobody wanted to be associated with it. Mm. And it was totally agreed that uh, since I'm insisting on writing that report, mm. I should uh, continue with the report mm. alone so that in case of anything happens, I was told that at the best, nothing would happen. Mm. And at worst, there will be repercussions. Mm. So, and as I've said, I was sure that my boss would cover me. Mm. So I was not worried. I, 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 I submitted that. Of course, writing that I'm the sole author of the report. Mm. Uh, the boss saw it. He could not believe his eyes. Mm. And he took it <laughs> to the headquarters, national headquarters. Mm. The report came back that I'm a very thoughtful person. Mm. Uh, I may have been or I may be a very thoughtful person, but the reality of the thing is we made it as a group discussion, mm. only that nobody else wanted it to be associated with that. So we mm. all agreed that it be written as if I'm the only person who mm. wrote it. Mm. Uh, and then uh, the deputy PSIO was a senior assistant commissioner of police, said one day that Kijana Rafkiangu, the exact words, Kijana Rafkiangu, Ninaenda mm. promote kwe chief inspector. Mm. That is after the morning meeting, reviewing or whatever, because in security matters every morning they are, there is a meeting. Mm. After that meeting, then that is when people started saying, hey, kumbe kama baba kwa kwa mkubo kwa polisi, hakuna mm. uh, anini. Mm. But uh, my mother was a kikuyu from Karatina, mm. and uh, among the people who had uh, suffered uh, the tribal clashes, yeah. were Kikuyus in Molo and Band Forest. Mm. So the same same people whom we had compiled a report together. Mm. After seeing the list, after seeing that my name topped the list of those who were recommended for chief inspector, mm. went back to Mr. Kimayo and said, you are promoting somebody who is anti-Kanu, anti moi anti-government. Mm. So they were told to prove. Then one day, after mm. working for so many, I'd, uh, I'd reported to work at uh, 6 in the morning mm. without without a break. That was 1992 elections. Mm. Without a break. Mm. We, and, and our offices, is, they are not the offices where someone can bring tea to your office. Mm. So at 6, after working for 12 hours. 6 p.m. Yeah. Mm. Uh, somebody came and took over from me mm. for the night shift and then I went to the police canteen mm. because I could not cook I had separated with uh, my former wife so I was back to secondary bachelorhood mm. so I saw that I was too tired mm. to go and make food so I went to the police canteen and ordered for some beef mm. uh, as it was being prepared two of my colleagues mm whom I'll give their names because already their names appeared in the standard mm. in the Daily Nation 20 mm. years ago. Mm. Uh, John Kabong and mm. Faris uh, Moriasi mm. came and found me seated somewhere. Mm. Uh, Moriasi ordered for beer, mm. which I ha was happy to co collect. Mm. And then uh, John Kabong P placed his hand in the pocket, removed a bottle of whiskey, mm. placed it on the table, mm. and then Moriasi broke the seal, poured and mixed it with my beer. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh, and then I took a mixture of pilsner mm. and whiskey. Mm. And then from there they started, they started, I repeat, they started political talks. Mm. Moriasi was full of praise in Moi, and mm. uh, in the condition of me being uh, intoxicated, mm. uh, intoxicated, mm. tired, and hungry, mm. I started supporting Mwai Kibaki. Mm. Most of the things I talked, Kibaki came and proved me right, mm. thanks God. And then uh, uh, Kabong mm. sneaked from mm. the police canteen. He went to the telephone booth, which was... Uh, outside the police canteen and rang the the, the bosses mm. 
come and listen it for yourself mm. and that is why i was sacked oh cases, when your bosses came you are intoxicated ukaendelea tu yeah nika moi kibaki tosha eh na nikasema kuna mtu mm. meaning moi mm. kuna mtu ikifika february atakosa mm. pay slip mm. and it is true february <laughs> kuna mtu alikosa pay slip <laughs> but that person who caused pay slip was the son of lando <laughs> yeah you yeah. what thing hwatenge mwana wa papa lando <laughs> okay 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 and and then uh, the last question and akuza kwa this short session ni um this uh this thing i had that sometimes you get very sad because you lost a lot of pl- uh, friends in the police force mm-hmm. yes so how how does that happen and why i get sad because uh, you lost a lot of friends yeah. uh, who are unmarried mm. and they just died yeah. and uh, cause uh, so did they die in the line of f- duty or they committed suicide what happened to them uh, like your friends there are those who died of uh, natural causes mm. those ones i don't mourn them mm. because that is nature yeah but i mourn those who died in line of duty mm. if i can give uh, two examples mm. you know These are people we were born the same year. Yeah. And uh, me I I was late in joining the police because I went to form 5 form 6. Mm. So they joined earlier than me, but we were born the same year 1961. Mm. Uh Okay, one was one is that but the other one joined the police after me. Mm. Uh but basically we are the same age. Mm. I can say talk of uh, Charles Kimani. Mm. Charles Kimani shot himself. Mm. Uh we w- before before we were employed we used to have one check we, when we used to have one higher purchase company mm. called ART yeah I remember but then mm. they brought in a new a new system mm. of check off mm. you know ART you could get your salary and take yourself to the shop mm. to give the money mm. but the check off they used to deduct it from the source mm. so there's a suspicion that uh he may have taken more things than because you just go there you say last month i took a sofa set this time i want a bed mm. they give you you sign and you see if the sofa set is deducted so much and then the bed comes they deduct something mm. you start feeling when double double deduction mm. and also he had a, a girlfriend mm. who wh- while they were drunk for two consecutive months she would sneak out at night and uh, after emptying his pocket and so one time he the second time mm. he went he he went to the trading center and asked uh, if the lady had come at night he was, she, he was, he was told yeah that lady had uh, as they went when he was drunk and he didn't know what was happening mm. she had sneaked back to the trading center so that is when he concluded that she must have emptied his pockets mm. He came back mm. shot her and then shot himself uh so he he was my age mate and a close friend and we used to look alike mm. although you are from a different tribes mm. uh whenever my grandchildren visit me mm. after leaving i get sad i cry mm. uh, remembering that if Charles Kiman would have been alive mm. and i did it is him who would be seeing of his grandchildren Mm. There is Koigi Koigi we attended the inspector's course with him mm. and Koigi was in Mandera no my Koigi was in Garissa mm. Ijara not Ijara. from Mwere just another Koigi yeah and they are not related mm. because we even asked him whether he's related to Koigi or Mwere and he said uh, uh, they don't even come from the same district or county mm. Mm. so Koigi was in those Ijara areas mm. and uh, When, he, when we were promoted to inspector mm. koigi was going to garissa to get uh, a change of his identification mm. of the new rank they walked into an ambush mm. and he never knew what happened because they were fired with a machine gun mm. and uh, the whole land rover apart from two people all of them were killed without them knowing mm. we have even cases of various people you go to an operation you munalala chini the next person ana wanapiga marisasi mm. eh, lakini anybody who has died whom i knew mm. 
uh, I could even remember how we could go have good time, hmm. uh, enjoy meat, enjoy. Hmm. Nowadays I don't take alcohol, but those days take a drink together. Hmm. It really affects me when when I remember that they are normal. Okay, hmm. and then uh, the last thing is you said your your mother died like over thirty years ago or thirty yeah. years ago. Uh, my mother had separated with my father, mm. and uh, in her house, mm. she had my picture there, mm. uh, and uh, they shared a picture. If you look at my tweet, mm. uh, my tweet uh, nowadays is called X. Mm. Uh, it's called Huatenge James. Mm. You'll see that picture in the police inspector's uniform. Mm. It used to dawn in her sitting room. Mm. And uh, the last time I saw her, I told her next time, because I was sure I was going to get chief inspector. Mm. But uh, when when I, I told her, I'm going to take another picture with another uniform, Maui Ming. Mm. And then uh, she was told, my viewers may be knowing about Kikuyu tradition. Mm. Somebody went and told her, Nyinawaka Dege. Mm. Do you know what happened to your son? She said, I mean, mm. she was expecting for them to say he's been promoted. To, to, to say that uh, we hear your son has been promoted. Mm. But then they told her, He's been fired. I've been fired. And um, she, <laughs> with the people with the high blood pressure, mm. it really affected her and she became sick. Uh, and again, we were very close. I'm, mm. Mm. I'm close to my mother. Mm. I was close to my 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 father died last year. Yeah, that is uh, eleven plus eleven plus twelve. Mm. Twenty three months ago, mm. but uh, kwa Baba just <laughs> like in, if, uh, my mother died a long time ago. And whenever I go there, mm. she had wanted to be buried in Luya tradition. Mm. So whenever I go there, the Kikuyu relatives leave me alone with her, and I talk to her grave. Mm. in Kitachoni. Mm. Yeah. Okay. But whenever I'm from there after talking to her, crying or whatever, mm. when I come back, I come back refreshed. Mm. Having reported to my mother how life is. Okay. Asante sana, Mr. Huatenge. Alafu kwa tuengina msijali, the full interview in a drop very soon. Eko nene. Eko nene. Naitakuwa nini. <laughs>